Welcome to Customizing BricsCAD. My name is Ralph Grabowski, and it's my pleasure to show you how to make BricsCAD work the way you work. BricsCAD has the ability to export its drawings as PDF files. That's the very popular format used to view drawings when you don't want people to be able to edit them. And just about anybody with a computer or even a mobile device today can view PDFs. So I'm going to show you in this tutorial how to create PDFs. There's two main w ways of doing it in BricsCAD. And here's the first one. To export a single drawing, go to the File menu, choose Export, and then from the Save as Type, you go through all the different formats in which BricsCAD can export drawings, and choose PDF. So there we have it, ready to go. Now, which folder is it being stored in? It's in the same folder as you got the drawing. So for example, this example road folder holds the example road drawing, and that's where the example road PDF is going to be. I click Save, and faster than you can say, who done it? It's done. Now, if you want to uh, tweak the output, you can. Go to File, Export Options, and here you see the options in the Settings dialog box for PDFs. Now the only one that uh, I would point out to you is kind of important is this one here. PDF layer support. You have three options. Don't use layers and there all the entities are exported without any layers to the PDF file. This second option export layers that are tur currently turned on. So that's a good way of controlling what you see in the PDF file by freezing layers you don't want exported. And then finally the third option is to export all layers including those that are off or frozen. I'm going to bring up the file manager so that we can see the PDF that, that was produced. So I'm going to double click on it here. And there's the, the viewer. Let's make it uh, fit to full size. And uh, I'll scroll in a bit. And uh, you can see that that's uh, pretty good quality stuff that you get out of BricsCAD. To plot a bunch of drawings, we use the publish command. And there it is there, file publish. And up comes this incredibly complex looking dialog box, which can be kind of intimidating, but let me walk you through it. And the first option at the top here says automatically load all open <coughs> drawings. And so that's what you see here, all the model and layout spaces of all the drawings I've got open right now. And uh, the next thing to look at is the plot device because uh, that's where it's going to be plotted. For this uh, first drawing, it's a none because it's a brand new drawing that was just opened up. It's blank, no plotter's been assigned. Uh, this one here, uh, it's uh, going to be printed as a DWF format. This one is a PDF. Uh, this one is going to be printed on a um, networked large format printer. And uh, this is another kind of uh, PDF format. Now, if we want to plot them all as a PDF, we go over here to Publish To and uh, say, no, we don't want the plotter named in this list. We want PDF. And now all of them will be exported as a PDF file. Some of them we don't want so because uh, they're blank, so we'll just uh, use this X button to uh, get rid of them. The other ones we might not want include, uh, say, just uh, the don't want any model space ones, get rid of those. If you want to change the order in which they'll be printed, you can use these arrows to move it around. And then uh, there's this one other option that's important, and that is uh, how do we want it? Do we want uh, each drawing plotted as its own PDF file, or do we want them all as a single PDF file that has many pages, one page per drawing? So I'm going to do that one so we can see what it looks like. Here's the output location. Um, don't really want it on in my Dropbox folder right now, so I'll bring it over to, say, the desktop, which is an easy place to find the result. Now, you notice I made a bunch of changes to this, and uh, if you want to save it, uh, so you can use the same list, the same settings again, click this button, and you can now um, save it as a DSD file, and then the next time you go to uh, want to plot the exact same drawings in the exact same way, just open this uh, DSD file, and uh, there we go. Okay, so let me hit publish, and um, this is going to take a, a little bit longer, but not too much longer, and we're done. 
let me bring up the file manager and uh, there's the uh, result. Let me double click that and we can see uh, the various pages. Now the uh, thing to notice is that um, they are different sizes because the uh, different sizes were specified in the layouts and uh, BricsCAD faithfully uh, follows that. I trust you enjoyed learning how to make BricsCAD work the way you work. For more on customizing BricsCAD, check out the ebook. Download the free trial version of BricsCAD at www.brixis.com and check it out for yourself.